Hello world, the internet, it's Bear here. So I'm about to head to my dentist appointment. Uh, of course, you know, I've got to work out my cavities. Then I've got a doctor's appointment for my uh, Crohn's disease. And then I'm going to see Waiting for Gatto tonight. And it's, in this play, it's Gatto. See, uh, I did it last spring. It's at my high school. But since I'm in college now, I can't be in it. They decided to repeat it, do it again. But, uh, of course, I can't be in it. Uh, my friend Joe's playing my part of Pozzo! Pozzo! Does that name mean nothing to you? Yeah, that's one of Pozzo's lines. But uh, they do a great job. But now I gotta head to my dentist appointment. Hey, so I just got to my dentist appointment. Uh, I went the wrong way. I made a wrong turn, so it took me a while because I got lost. It took me forever to get back on track. So I want to tell you guys, I did something really stupid last night and this morning. So I got home from practice, uh, but before I came home, I went to Publix to get some milk because uh, I ran out of milk. So when I got home, I came in, and I did not bring the milk inside. So at about midnight, I was laying in my bed, semi-consciously, not really with it, but I was thinking, did I not bring the milk in? So when I got up this morning, I went out to my car. Fair enough. It's right there. So I came in, I put it in the freezer. And then after about 45 minutes, I had some with my breakfast and put some ice in it. Because it was like lukewarm when I got it out, but it was pretty cold. But I needed a little bit of ice. So I went ahead and drank it. Then a few minutes later, after breakfast, I was thinking, maybe that wasn't the greatest idea. So I looked it up. Apparently, you're not supposed to drink milk if it's not refrigerated overnight. Because there's like some bacteria in there that uh, mess you up. So you might get some kind of stomach ache. It won't kill you, but you may get a stomach ache. So hopefully a stomach ache combined with Crohn's disease won't do anything bad to me. Hasn't too been too bad yet. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. well, anyway, I got to go into my dentist appointment. I'll see y'all later. So I'm leaving the dentist. It was alright. That's what I gotta do. I'm probably gonna go home now and uh, charge my phone. Then I gotta go to my doctor. Thrilling what you have to do on the days you don't have any classes or work. I mean these kind of things, you know. Just gotta be done. Hey everybody, so I'm home now. It's really weird. This whole side of my mouth is numb. It just feels really awkward. And I'm bleeding a little bit. We're working on that. Yeah, but I mean, it's what I gotta do. So, uh, in about an hour, I gotta leave to go to my doctor's appointment. I'm gonna check up on how my Crohn's disease is doing. I think it's actually doing a lot better. Now, if y'all don't know what Crohn's disease is, you can look up more into it. It's like a colon problem. It's similar to colitis. Yeah, it's sometimes like digestive issues. Yeah, around that region. Around here. Around your butt region, your colon region. It's sometimes be painful, but I think I'm doing a lot better. I'm going to some infusions, which is just... They put the thing into your arm, needle into your arm. It's like an IV. It just goes into you and it's not painful and it's really helping. It, it took a long time, but now it's really starting to help, which I'm pleased. I'm pleased with what they're able to do with me. So I'm back. I'm going to head to the doctor. So I got an email saying that I got $1,100 more in financial aid than I thought I was going to. I mean, what they already gave me, 
was beyond anything I'd have to pay with for textbooks and uh, classes and all that. But all of a sudden, they apparently there's one they hold back to make sure you actually stay in. I think is what it said. So getting 1,100 more dollars I can spend on my life expenses. It's really great. I haven't told you all this, but um, I'm using the financial aid, and now I'm really, really gonna use that financial aid because I'm going to New York with my uh, East Side troop, my Thespian troop, because they they had an open space and like any foreign st former students. So yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna have even more money to spend. So that's great. Um, I really gotta get to my appointment. So. It's good, my Crohn's disease is doing much better. So, y'all don't worry about me. Uh, so I just got here to the UF Health Med Plaza. Well, it's a parking lot, so I gotta go in. There it is. Y'all don't worry about me, I just gotta go in and check up. I think I'm doing a lot better. But you need to check up sometimes. Hey everybody, so uh, I'm back from my appointment. Good news and bad news. Good news. I'm, she thinks I'm doing a lot better. And, you know, I, the Crohn's, well, it's not really in remission yet. She thinks I'm in a really good spot, which is great. The bad news is she says I'm going to need another colonoscopy. I hate colonoscopies so much. <laughs> I had one last October, it was not fun, but if I gotta do that, I gotta do that. She, she says she wants it now because uh, to see if the meds they put me on are really helping, she just wants to confirm it. But luckily I won't have to miss any school, it's gonna be over Christmas break. Well, it'll be before Christmas, because I get out at like a week into December, but uh, not thrilled, but uh, you have to starve for like two days, or, or I think it's just one day, and you have to drink some oh, disgustingness. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go get some pizza from Blaze, and later tonight I'm gonna go see Wayne and Forgato. So, Blaze pizza, which I hear they have one in Disney Springs now. Nice looking pizza, it's really hot and steaming. I don't know if you can tell, it's really big. I don't think I can eat the whole thing. It looks good. Mm. Hey everybody, I'm about to leave to go see Waiting for Godot, Godot, whatever you want to call it. See my old high school friends doing it. So yeah, gotta go. <laughs> So hey, I just got here to Eastside High School, my alma mater. When I was driving in, I just saw Thomas Sanders. He, he's been really supportive of the Eastside. Yeah, he's been and shot several vines here. It's good to see him here. So hey everybody, I'm here after the show, and uh, here is Joe, the, my Hi. successor, new Pazzo. Uh, wh why should everybody come see the show? Well, this is a really great show. It's full of really funny moments, and it's really going to get you thinking when you leave the audience. So you should all definitely come see it. We have four more shows left, so yeah. Definitely. And we didn't have much of an audience tonight, y'all. Come see it. Definitely. You will not regret it. Thank you. Hey, so I'm back from seeing Waiting for Gatto. Excellent, excellent play, y'all. Check it out. And I'm not just saying that because I was in the first one. It is an amazing play. It's funny. It is so funny. You'll laugh up a storm. So much physical comedy. You'll be amazed. And it makes you think about your purpose in life. Why are you here? I mean... Not many plays can have you laughing out loud, but really get you to think. It's amazing. Ben Brandt, he was in my production. 
He's a senior this year, so he got to keep his part absolutely fantastic as Vladimir. He really was able to embody an old person, which is hard to do when you're 17. Dylan Webb came into this. He wasn't in the last one. He uh, replaced my friend Antonio. Great job, full on, incredible. A lot of limping, <laughs> which Estragon's supposed to do. And of course you saw Joe played Pazzo, and he was great. Uh, he really um, was able to capture him like I did, and uh, fantastic. I couldn't have thought of anyone better to replace me. And uh, Micah, Micah killed it. He played Lucky, the slave killed it. He's got a monologue. Everybody was jumping out of their seats laughing, the few people that were there. And uh, this new guy named uh, Graham, he's actually an eighth grader. He took over for the boy who Joe played in the last one. Anyway, great, great show, y'all. We hardly had an audience. It was like 20 people in the theater will seat like 200. Really, y'all, you will not be disappointed. It's... $5 for students, $10 for adults. It's it feels like a professional show to me. You're not you're usually not going to see a professional show for 10 bucks. Great great value. Don't miss it. It's going to be playing tomorrow night, Saturday, what the, October 1st. The next week, October 6th, 7th, and 8th. Don't miss it, y'all. It's the play you've been waiting for. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a surreal experience to um, watch someone else play uh, the role you played. I've never had that happen to me before. But Joe really did a good job. And if y'all want to see another play that I'm in, come see... Bang, bang, you're dead. It's a, if y'all don't know, you haven't seen any of my other videos, it's drama about school shootings. Absolutely fantastic play. Uh, Santa Fe College Fine Arts Hall, Gainesville, Florida. It's going to be October 13th, 14th, and 15th at the Santa Fe College Fine Arts Hall. It's going to be Depending on where you want to sit, it's going to be between $9 and $12. If you're a UF student, it's $9 wherever you sit. And if you're a Santa Fe student, it's free, so why not? So, y'all, I don't mean to make this like a huge advertisement, but I just I just really feel like this play is really underappreciated, waiting for Gatto, and hardly anybody came to see it. And I feel like it needs to be worthwhile for them, you know? So I'll talk to y'all later. I'm just a bear, living a crazy life.